Hi folks. Something just struck me and I think it's a very good point and I think it's a point for many, many people who call themselves Christians. That they really are so incredibly concerned about not wanting to offend people. But they have no care or concern about offending God. Yeah, the reality is, none of these people that you're scared of offending gave their life for you. None of them. But you're more scared about offending them than you are about offending God. But certainly for me, I find some of the things in society today, the celebration of obesity, I find that to be abhorrent. There was a young lady who was at the uh, River Church when I was there, who, lovely nature, but clearly obese. And it was obvious that the people in the church, they knew, they knew if she continues as she is, her body is not going to be able to carry that extra weight. She's not going to reach old age. Chances are incredibly slim that she would reach old age if she continues as she is. But there's no one in the church who is that bothered about it in any way shape or form they're more bothered about saying anything about her obesity that might offend anyone in that church it's not offensive to them that this woman might die that if there's another thing like covid in the future she might die from that because of her obesity there's no care or concern for her in that way the kind of concern is, if I say something, people could get offended. So, okay, I won't say anything. Well, it's just like, as I said previously, it's like people believe in the wrong thing and being on the wrong path, on a path to hell. There's no concern about that. There's no concern at all. There's more of a concern to not say anything in case, uh, if I say something, people could get offended. Yeah. There's a lack of realness. Yeah, people trying to be everything to everyone and end up really being no one. Really. Yeah. No, of course. Issues like obesity, for them to be dealt with, it's got to be dealt with in a sensitive manner. But it's got to be dealt with in a true manner. Yeah, rather than saying, oh, you look beautiful. Yeah, you're 20 stone overweight, but you look beautiful. No, you don't. I'm sorry, no. There's nothing about that, about what you're doing to yourself, that is beautiful. Yeah, it's like saying the opposite. If someone was incredibly skinny, emaciated, and you're saying that they look beautiful, where you can see their bones, where their face looks more like a skeleton. Oh, that's really beautiful. Oh, you look amazing. You look so healthy. Yeah. You look like deaf. People that are that emaciated look like deaf. That's the reality, of course. Yeah, if you're that skinny, it's not healthy. If people are throwing up to lose weight and they've got that problem 
and yeah they're making themselves throw up because they've got that mental issue going on that can't be considered as beautiful what well, because if you say they're beautiful you're supporting that mental issue that they've got and saying that that's great continue down that path continue to the point where you're dead well done exactly the same with obesity yeah to me that's a point how can you be saying that that's good that it's healthy for you to be doing that it should be a concern really if if someone is your friend and that person is obese you yeah, really obese you should be going home and you should be crying into your pillow knowing that your friend is killing themselves More likely what would happen is if you make a comment that seems like an unkind comment about that, that friend's obesity and people judge you, then you'll be going home crying on your pillow. Right? That people don't like you because you said something that someone got offended by. Now you're going to be crying on your pillow. Yeah. In church, there are people with different issues. Some have issues that are really obvious. Some have issues that are not so obvious. The reality is, when it comes down to it, God knows exactly what those issues are. He wants them dealt with. He wants them dealt with because it's far healthier for people. And he knows that you can't serve him. If you're serving whatever your issue is, you can't serve him. Because it's people pleasing. That's an issue. That's an issue that people have. A fear of offending people is an issue that people have. In church, they think I'm the one that's got an issue because I don't have a fear of offending people. Because I don't try not to offend, they think that I've got a problem, that I should be trying not to offend. Yeah, it's the other way around. Now, I'm not perfect in any way, shape or form. No way near. I've still got a lot that I need to deal with. But thanks to God, and it is thanks to God, not thanks to me, I understand that his way and his will is completely the opposite to that of the world. So when I see church, and I see church doing things according to the world, which they are, because this whole point of let's not speak about issues that people have because they might get offended and might not like us, that's from the world. That's not from God. In any way, look at the Lord. Look at what he did. That basically, the Lord lived in a time when people wouldn't speak about the Jewish hierarchy they wouldn't speak about the priests and the sadducees and the pharisees and all those people they wouldn't speak about them because they knew that people would get offended and then their life could be made hell right exactly as it is now it's no different now to what it was then he didn't come in trying to be crucified Yeshua didn't come in and say things because he wanted to pee people off so that they'd crucify him. It was God's plan. He was going to be crucified whatever he did. He knew that. There wasn't anything he did that was wrong. He didn't lie about what was going on. He spoke truth in darkness and people were offended. Like they are now. But we are supposed to be people that bring light into darkness. We're not supposed to be people that encourage the continuation of darkness. So there you go. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Be blessed. Be blessed. Bye-bye.